Welcome all my viewers from across the globe. This is Ifi's global channel. My name is Ifi Onabo. I welcome you on this channel. We discuss mostly African matters. And today, what are we going to discuss? We're going to discuss Pastor Tunde Bakare. Pastor Bakare is the founder of a Lagos church called Citadel Global Community Church. I'm aware that in Nigeria, it is forbidden, so to speak, to discuss or even to criticize a man of God. Christians will always quote the scripture to tell you that criticizing men of God is virtually a taboo, a no-go area. They, for example, say, touch not mine anointed and do my prophet no harm. Uh, but I have news for you. I'm not doing any harm to anybody. The Lord also said that if any one of us falls into error, we should correct him in the spirit of love. And that's basically what I'm doing today. Another thing we have to understand is if a man of God decides to go into active politics, he ceases to enjoy immunity from criticism. Yes, you heard me. We can interrogate his actions. We can interrogate whatever he does. And whatever he does becomes a matter of public interest. Pastor Bakere is one man who has one of his legs in the church and another leg in, in, in politics. So in the afternoon, he is a preacher. He preaches in the church. He preaches on TV. And at night, he is busy uh, having political meetings. What is of concern about Pastor Bakary is that he has a penchant for prophecies. He once prophesied about the 15th man and the 16th man. He said, for example, that Buhari is the 15th man and that he himself is the 16th man. Mind you, he didn't say this in a political meeting. He said it. He said this in his church. He said it right from the altar. So, Pastor Bakari participated in the just concluded party primaries of the All Progressive Congress, the APC. The APC is the ruling party in Nigeria. And like I said in my uh, uh, other video, uh, the party primaries have now been concluded. And these primaries were meant to um, choose or to elect the flag bearers for the presidential elections that are scheduled for next year. Pastor Bakare actually bought a nomination form. He's a member of the All Progressive Congress. He bought a nomination form. And what happened? At the convention, Pastor Bakare scored zero vote out of 2,322 votes cast. In other words, out of the 2,322 uh, uh, delegates, not one of them found him worthy to be president of Nigeria. Now, ordinarily, this channel would not have bothered to discuss this matter at all. But what is of concern here is that Pastor Bakare, he paid 100 million naira to purchase the nomination form. Nomination form costing 100 million naira. He wasn't the only one. Every other candidate purchased his or her nomination form with that amount of money. And it is not on record that Pastor Bakare criticized this insanity, this insane amount that, is, that was required to purchase an ordinary nomination form. And then this 
100 million naira could not even get him one single vote. Not even one. He scored zero vote. Why am I saying this? Why are we concerned? When we consider the fact that somebody like Dangote, the world's richest black man, he started off with a loan of 500,000 naira from his uncle. And today we know what has become of Dangote. Now suppose Pastor Bakari had decided to give just 5 million naira to empower 20 young budding entrepreneurs in his church or even outside his church. Now, it is obvious that these ones, if they put that money into judicious use, then in the next few years, they will become employers of labor. But he chose to pay 100 million naira to purchase a political party fund. Talk about squandering of resources. Now, after his loss, Pastor Bakare went again back to the pulpit to explain away his loss. And he quoted scriptures to explain all this. He quoted from Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. And he read from the uh, message translation. I will read that for you, for my viewers right now. Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. He said, the angels announced this decree. The holy watchmen bring this sentence so that everyone living will know that the high God rules human kingdoms. He arranges kingdom affairs however he wishes and makes leaders out of losers. So eventually, Pastor Bakare hopes to become a leader or the president of Nigeria after scoring zero vote in his party's convention. Now, think about that. I will leave my viewers with a word of the Lord. In the Bible, God warns us very, very clearly about what types of prophet we should listen to. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 22, the Lord of hosts said, When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. If the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that thing, that thing which, that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken. That is the thing which the Lord had not spoken. But the prophet had spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. So God said, we should not be afraid of prophets who speak presumptuously. I want to thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Ifi Onabo, and this is Ifi's Global Channel. It's a channel where we say where we say it as we see it. If you like our content, please subscribe, please like, and please share. Because when you do that, you help us to grow. See you later. Bye.